Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my $1,000 Sephora fantasy bag. <laughs> Who will not love to have $1,000 to splurge at Sephora, go through the wish list, get your goodies and enjoy them? I mean, like what a fantasy, right? And this tag was created by none other than Emily Noel, another wonderful creator here in YouTube. I mean, who doesn't know Emily Noel, right? <laughs> if you don't know who is Emily, well, you have literally been living under the rock because she is one of the most relatable persons here in YouTube. I mean, I feel like she's a mom just like me and every time that she uploads a video, I feel like I'm at her home or, you know, in, in just a very familiar setting. She's down to earth. She has to stay so humble throughout the years. I mean, she just feels like family. I mean, that that's all what I can say about her, you know, and again, you know, going back to the mom side of her, it's like, I know like how difficult it is to have children and time to balance, you know, when I'm gonna film and when I need to edit and when, you know, all those things and I mean, such an amazing creator and what it makes this video even more special is because i'm collaborating with another wonderful creator here in this platform her name is ashley lamora she is oh, she's just so lovely she does a lot of reviews hauls unboxings i mean she has such a great variety of content and i will highly suggest you to go to her channel give her all the love and the support that she deserves she's also a mom like i am and i know you know like when we were planning this video right here she was telling me uh, you know like i need to wait for my little one to fall asleep because i usually record at night time and i mean and I know all the desire for her to not only do this video, but actually to bring great content to all our audience. So I feel like you should go ahead, you know, check her channel out and again, give her the love and support that she deserves. And if you're new here, if you come from Ashley's channel or you're just, you know, cruising by, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here and I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my content and it will be lovely to grow our family on Instagram. So come and follow me on my Instagram. Now, if you want to know what I will buy with $1,000 at Sephora, then just keep on watching. I have a scooch a little bit to this side right here because on this side I'm going to be putting some images of the products that I will be talking about and let me tell you I'm here on the Sephora app and my cart is a little bit over a thousand dollars because they have some products right there that they have oh, a hefty price tag. They really do. They really do. Okay, let's go first. You're going to laugh about this one. It is a bronzer. <laughs> And you're like, Jacqueline, what? You just rank all your 2020 bronzers and you want another bronzer? Well, this bronzer has been on my wish list for a long time right now. And I actually heard about this bronzer from Alana Davison. She always talks about this bronzer. And then there's also, oh, her name. Her name, just forgot about her name. She's also another Canadian makeup artist. I just have it right here on the tip of my tongue, on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I, I have to go and check because this is gonna kill me if I don't tell you. Okay, Julia Adams, she also raves about this bronzer right here. And I'm talking about the Lila B Bronze Beauty Bronzer Duo. It only comes in one shade and it seems like it's, you know, like a pan that is split in half, a lighter tone and a deeper tone. And the shade is just B Sand Keys for $42. <laughs> I really want to have it. For the packaging, it looks like it's weighty. I love kind of like that pebble kind of look. I mean, it really kind of reminds me of the pebbles of, you know, when you're at a beach resort and, you know, all the floor is like, I know. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean, right? And, and I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if the shade, I mean, I think the shade will work on me. But it's just all the hype around that that I really want to give it a try. So that's one of the things that I will get. Okay, moving on right here to another item. Now, this is a, 
a skincare gadget and it's by Derma Flash. It's the Lux Anti-Aging Derma Planning Exfoliation Device. So I use, I, I actually exfoliate my skin, not on a daily basis, but pretty much, pretty much like one day yes, one day no. And then I actually shave my peach fuzz right here. And you know what? I have heard great things about, you know, this product and I have tried another product by Derma Flash. I like it. I, I don't think it's out of this world extraordinary, but I think it's good. But I don't know why. I, I want to have that spa treat at home and make my face look like baby face. I don't know if this will achieve it. And in fact, right now it is on sale. And this has been actually awarded by the Allure this 2018. <sighs> Tell me, do you have this product right here? Have you tried it? How good it is? Should I really get it? I mean, like, not right now, right? But <laughs> should I keep it on my wish list or not? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, moving on to the next product is a blush. Uh, right now, I mean, I just stopped with the kick of the bronzers and now the only thing that I can think of is blushes. And I just got all the Patrick Tab blushes. They are gorgeous and I don't know why, but Regardless, this is something that I have been wanting for also a very long time and it is by Hourglass and I do have flashes from Hourglass, they are gorgeous, but this shade right here, Radiant Magenta, I don't know why I feel so attracted to it, it's because it looks more punchy, it looks more tropical, oh, and I know it comes in a mini size, I know it does, <laughs> it does come in a mini size, so I mean, Give or take, you know, if I had to get a mini size or, you know, a travel size, I will. But our glass products, they are just so beautiful. They blend so seamlessly and, you know, like you can actually build them on and they just melt in your skin so beautifully that, oh my goodness, yes, I want to have them. <laughs> I want it so, so badly. Okay, and now going into something for the hair. This just came out. This is by Brio Geo. Be gentle, be kind. The Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Hair Mask. Blah, 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 right? Oh, I love Brio Geo. I really like their products. I mean, they are not top, top favorite, but it's a really good brand. Actually, the one hair mask that I have liked from them a lot and I just wish they would bring it back is that don't despair repair but instead of like the regular one it was the one that came in a little kind of like a honey bear bottle I still have one in my shower I actually today I finished oh one of them and I'm to my last one and I felt so bummed the day that is not a permanent item it's such a beautiful beautiful mask I mean so nourishing and I'm very intrigued about this mask mostly because the avocado and I mean if we go back on the time when you know like everything about beauty wasn't so push and so like you know <laughs> that we were not so intense right I mean I remember my mom doing this avocado mask from fresh avocados and from fresh like eggs too and other things and they work so so well and I don't know I just have this desire to try <laughs> something for my hair yes yes I would like to try that one okay so then going back to well this is not a lipstick because I do have a lot of lipsticks and I do have a lipstick right here that oh yeah, yeah. well this one right here is the Guerlain Rouge G customizable lipstick case and I actually am wearing um, a Guerlain lipstick right now and I have a case right here Guerlain lipsticks, they are just beautiful. And I think you may have remembered when I hold this one right here, I said, you know, I don't like this one right here that has all these rhinestones. It's called a quartz illusion because I feel that the rhinestones, they are gonna come off. And then some of you guys told me they are really well secure. It actually is really good quality. And I'm like, <laughs> um, you're convincing me. So it has to stay on my wish list and I think I would like to get it. But you know what? Anytime that I get a Guerlain lipstick, I feel like I need to get, because I mean, you have to get a case, right? So I'm like, well, should I get the lipstick case? But then that means I need to get um, a lipstick. Maybe not, <laughs> but oh, my desire. I, 
I do have this passion and love for lipsticks like you cannot believe it <laughs> you cannot believe it okay moving on right here to something else also by Guerlain it is the terracotta light natural healthy glow and radiance bronzing powder in the shade let's see there's different shades right here I think I would like to get that um, I don't know which one the O3 natural warm that's the one the O3 natural warm I do have Guerlain bronzers and the latest one that I have tried, I don't have it right here, but it's from this collection, the Brazilian Peace, um, Brazilian Beach, yeah, the Terracotta Brazilian collection, whatever, okay, so that one to me right now, I mean, I can use it only as a blush because I don't know, it's just so hardly pressed, but I have her only the best about the bronzing powders in the single pans and I do have another bronzer by Guerlain but it comes in an actual palette so there's two bronzers and a blush anyhow I really want to try this product right here and it just looks so gorgeous I mean tell me if it doesn't look so beautiful this kind of like wheel of like pink and bronze shade I mean and it looks so radiant too and here we go, me again and the bronzers, okay? I'm gonna stop with the bronzers, I promise. I promise, I'm gonna stop with the bronzers, okay. Ooh, another item that, okay, this is gonna take a chunk out of my budget. A big chunk. <laughs> Guess what it is? You can write it down. It's a chunk of money. It is the new Dyson Coral Hair Straightener. So I do have Dyson products. I do have the blow dryer, I have the air wrap complete, and I mean vacuum and whatnot, and I really love Dyson technology. And you know what? I dye my hair, you know? My hair is treated, and you know, I, I need to use, you know, good hair mask, good products, good shampoo, good conditioner, you know, to keep it up as healthy as possible. And even then, I mean, like my, my hair, you know, has suffered quite a bit and it, it is all my fault okay anyhow and this hair straightener it just sounds like amazing I mean I think I watched it was I think uh, I don't I don't remember her name Ala Torre her last name is Ala Torre and why I cannot remember her first name forgive me okay I think it was her that I watched her and then Alana Davidson too yeah, and that was during, I think during Christmas time that she did a review of this Dyson Coral. And I mean, the technology itself, the fact that it will just remain with the same amount of heat on your hair. And it actually has this sensor that if it's like if your hair is too like either damaged or too delicate, the actual heat will adjust. It just it's so intriguing. I mean, the technology right there is crazy, but the price is crazy to $499. $499. That's insane, insane, insane. Okay, so to make me feel better, because that product right there is really insane, I really want to try the new Fenty Beauty um, Sleep Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Okay. These long names, brands, can we stop it? Can we please? Please stop with these long names. I'm like, just keep it short and sweet. I mean, you don't need to make a poetry out of this. Good lord. Wow. Okay, the shade that I'm looking at, it's summertime. And honestly, I want that shade 03 Tantan. <laughs> it's $22. It's not a whole, whole lot, you know, in compared to the other items that I have in my cart. But I have so many lip products that I feel like... I don't need this one you know like I I think I mentioned it on a will I buy it video sometimes when there's like a lip collection coming from a brand I feel like I want to buy it all and review it all and give you the swatches of all the lipstick shades and all of that and then I have like a ton of lip products right here and I feel bad because it will go bad at a certain point in time but this shade right here I don't know I don't know it just looks summer it looks tropical it looks like vacation and since we cannot take you know, vacations to a beautiful island to go to Bora Bora or whatever. 
let's just um, get one of the Fenty Beauty Sleep Shine <laughs> Sheer Shiny Lipstick <laughs> in Tantan. <laughs> yes, that's that's the one that I really really want to try. Okay, mm, another product right here is by Tom Ford. I will really 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 want to get this Tom Ford Leopard Sand Quad. This one right here has been calling my name. What I like about it is that beautiful mango shade on the top. I love mangoes. If you have been in Peru, if you're Peruvian, you know that mangoes, they taste amazing. There is so Now what I'm thinking about eating, I must be hungry. I'm just having this um, desire for something sweet right now. And I don't know, mangoes and the quad. <laughs> and you know what, funny thing, Tom Ford has come out with two other quads that I think they came in a stock in Selfridges and then they went out of a stock like right away. But yeah, this has been in my wish list for a long, long time. And oh, if I had that $1,000, I'd for sure pick that up. For sure. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And then here we go. Hmm. This item. It's not that I need it. I truly do not need this product. But I really want it. You know that I have all the Natasha Denona the say the regular eyeshadow palettes i do have also the midi size the mini size also the five pounds not all of them but i love natasha denona and i don't have any of her 28 eyeshadow palettes i shouldn't say any i mean there's only two <laughs> well the purple and blue is the one that i really love to get i always take a look at it but 239 dollars oh why she didn't made it like the Metropolis palette? I wish she could have made it that size. That would have been the perfect size, not too much, just perfect amount, different shades, many of them, variety, and then the price, although, you know, Metropolis is also expensive, but not as expensive as $239. In fact, I remember the first Beautylish bag that I got, the one from last year. It was actually my first video here on this channel. I was praying because I had watched so many Beautylish XL bags unboxings, you know, the Beautylish with the lucky bags. I was praying. I hope that it's one of these big Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes and to be the purple and blue one. I know it didn't happen and then this year all the extra large lucky bags they were like all sold out right away so I ended up getting a large one and eh, it wasn't the best one I mean it was okay you know but I had this desire I'm mean, like imagine myself like you know like holding tight on being lucky to get one like that that's how I feel about it and every time like my friends here on YouTube whether it's like Michelle Wan or Morgan Turner, they show their palette. I'm like, I envy you so much. Stop showing it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I don't know for how long that will be in there. Unless there's a big sell, like a 50% of sell. Maybe. Maybe I will adventure to something like that. Whew. Okay. Well, we're very close because some of the items that I chose, they are, you know, like... They have a hefty, hefty price tag. So here, it, this is another Tom Ford item. And I think, you know, a parfum. Why not to get a parfum during, you know, having that $1,000, I think, a fragrance. Yeah. So I'm debating in two of them. One is Lost Cherry. And I have a smell that one went back, back on the time when the stores were open. I I have been able to smell it and I mean it's a nice fragrance okay but the one that really 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 is like calling me badly is Rose Brick. That one I mean like not only the packaging is just so beautiful and it's not that I just love rose scents but for one reason or another it's something that I really want. And this just made my budget blew away because this, the smallest size is $335. Yeah, you heard it right, $335. And if I was to buy the big one, it's $860, which no, I will not. I would just go, go for the 1.7 fluid ounces. Yeah, that's the one that I will get. Okay, and okay, bonus items right here. <laughs> 
I don't know who gave me that bonus, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps, hey, you know, if I'm, if I have my one thousand dollars and it was the VIB sale, then I could maybe purchase these two other items. Okay, do not judge right here, please. <laughs> Okay, so the other two items, really quick, the Drunk Elephant Erase Milky Micellar Water. I have been loving the new hair care products from Drunk Elephant, and I have been loving also their skincare line for a while too. And I don't know, this Milky Micellar Water, it sounds like soothing, soft, calming, mostly for a person like me. I do have dry skin, sensitive skin. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and here, the last thing is the Marc Jacobs Ad Lash Curling Mascara. And again, Alana Davis. Alana, please stop it. Alana, oh, and then Hindash. He showed it too on his Instagram. I heard some people, they like it, and some people, they are not too crazy about it. And I love the packaging. It just looks so lax, so elegant, so... So art deco. I don't know. I just like it. I just like it. And this is the thing. I don't need any more mascaras. I have a ton of mascaras that they are brand new in the package, and I feel horrible if I have to buy another mascara. But, but if I had, yeah, if I had that one thousand dollars, in addition, in addition to the VIB um, discount, <laughs> then I'll get it. <laughs> then. I will for sure get it. Okay, my friends, and I think that makes it for this video. I know I I chose really Oh <gasps> no There's one more thing again thinking about the discount just one more thing is the Charlotte Tilbury the cream eyeshadows I love them I do have a couple of them but I have been I'm for such a long time the shade jean and I don't know why I haven't picked it up. I don't know why every time, I'm, I mean like I have, every time that I'm at Sephora store, that I walk around there, I mean I look at it, I'm like, I really wanna have it, I really wanna have it, um, and I never pick it up. So, so I think, I think that will be the other item that I will definitely pick up. Yeah, that Charlotte Tilbury in that specific shape. Okay friends, I know, I know I went over the budget okay and I'm I was thinking about the discount okay forgive me about that but you know what it's a fantasy it's definitely a fantasy and now I would love to know what is in your fantasy Sephora bag you tell me all about it I would love to read your comments and before you leave I want to remind you do not go too far go check Ashley's video I will be leaving it on the description box below the link to her channel, the link to her video, as well as all the makeup that I'm using today here on this video. And if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Here on this channel, we do a lot of hauls, first impressions, reviews. I do have a series too where we actually create our own creation of an eyeshadow palette from an X brand and I would love again for you to become part of the family. Let's grow our family too on Instagram so go follow me there. If you like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up, also share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day. Bye!